Here we are with the girls and maybe the male. I'm not sure um, if Frank is a male. That's the black and white one there. Sure looks different than the rest. It's possible it's just a different coloration and skin formation, but it has made some different noises. Uh, Frank last week, as you'll recall, hurt his foot or her foot and uh, is doing fine now. Back to normal, running around, walking. Took a few days, but uh, not too bad. So I'm out here surveying the yard since it's been a week since I've put him out here in the same spot. And I'm <clears throat> kind of seeing how beat up the grass is, and it's not bad. It's got a couple of little holes here. Their favorite area to lay down and take dust baths is right over here. In this area, there's a couple of, and uh, one, two, and there's one here and then one right there. So kind of four or five little areas, but they're, they're not, they don't have a big hole. And the intent is to make it so that they won't make big holes back here. It's okay to make little ones. I can just uh, use a rake and push the dirt back over. And you can see that it's pretty windy out here. It's been windy for the past few days. It's finally warming up. About almost 80 today. When it gets cold, they don't like to come out very much. They'll stay up in their coop for a while. And uh, the grass on this side is good, except for over by their, the door behind the door is where they like to lay when they're outside. So it's a little beat up there, but not too bad. So week one survey, it's looking all right. Everything's in check. The uh, grass line you can see down there is brown, so that means that the electric fence is working. It's actually killing the grass down there where it touches. See how it's brown? So that's working. I did move the stakes up a little bit. Uh, they're very um, flimsy. It's to make them light. And you know on a high tensile electric uh, fence you use a machine to tighten it down. Well these are just pick them up and push them into the ground with your foot. Step on them. You can see down there at the bottom there's a uh, stake and each of the corners is reinforced with a uh, gray stake that's uh, separate from the unit. And that's this piece right here. Now this one, since we started over here, wanted to make it sort of rectangular. We don't have a corner post here. So we're just using the gray post, which is working out fine. All right, so just wanted to give you an update. Uh, week number one with the chickens and their new run, their paddock. This is paddock one right here. So the next spot I'll put them to is paddock two, which is over here next to it. And I uh, have to move their chicken coop back here. And then after that, the next step will be continuing to go up this hill and then eventually start using the paddocks back there as well. So we'll have, I'm guessing about eight paddocks back here. So the, the, the goal is to keep them on fresh grass. It's fine to beat it up uh, because it'll grow back, but uh, we don't want to have it so that it's traumatized either. We're trying to keep it uh, keep it fertilized, obviously. That's why the chickens are out here, and they scratch it up like they're doing right now, looking for bugs and so forth. So they're doing their work, and we'll be doing them a favor here pretty soon by getting them on fresh grass. So, all right, all done for this video. And uh, looks like they're having a lot of fun. Oh, this one's getting a little close. Now that's Gizmo right there. Oh, Gizmo is the best uh, bugger we have. And the bug just went outside the fence. She is relentless. She'll chase them down and she'll fixate on them. It's pretty funny. But she knows about the electric fence. I think most of them do by now. They'll get right up close to it, but they won't touch it anymore. They used to try to bite these little beads, these little white beads, because they're insulated. They don't do that anymore because the wires between them are all energized. And uh, one little slip of the beak and blammo. So they're doing well. They uh, seem to be very happy out here. I'm happy because now they're not all over the yard. Uh, when we had them out before, they're almost impossible to catch, and uh, which is fine at night because I usually just open up the coop door and I leave it open, 
and by about nine o'clock at night they're tucked away safely up in their coop but if I wanted to go somewhere during the day I'd have to worry about them you know I have to either catch them all uh, or leave them out and worry about them and it just got to the point where worrying about them wasn't worth it so this little paddock system is actually the, that was the main plan anyways is to get this set up so that they can do their work on the yard so all right I'm gonna close out and have a good night